Hey, I just remembered I have a comic book show. Huh. One of my favorite web artists right now has to be Mary Cagle, aka Cube Watermelon, an American-born, Japan-based English teacher and part-time exceedingly talented comic book maker and writer. Her style reflects the depth of her multicultural background, not just from a carefully crafted yet simple-looking visual standpoint, but from a narrative one as well. She's currently running free web comic series. Let's Speak English is a black-and-white strip inspired by her own personal experience experiences with Japanese culture and her work as an assistant teacher, which is cleverly structured in the classic vertical format of local strips, matching the way kanji composed sentences are written. Sleepless Domain, a multiple people's collaboration of which she is the head writer, is a post-apocalyptic magical girl fantasy story that doesn't waste any time getting into a Madoka Magica self-demolishing territory as soon as it possibly can. As I record this, the work is still at a very early stage, but it gives us a chance to segue to Kegel's longest-running comic, Kiwi Blitz, a futuristic action-adventure mecha series. Did I mention she's a huge otaku? Steffi Frolik, very clever name, I know, is a 14 years old rich German girl who's also a professional mecha pilot, much like a certain famous anime character that also happens to be German and a mecha pilot, except without an abominable personality that only serves to remind you one of the many many reasons you don't watch anime anymore. <coughs> Together with her on and off teammates and companions, including a raccoon costume wearing child larcenist, the obligatory creepy slash cute Japanese robot girl with super intelligence, her ludicrously complacent rich dad that just wants to build cool stuff, and the only love interest slash childhood friend slash sidekick who's actually interesting and compelling, she fights crime aboard a kiwi-shaped combat contraption out of boredom. Because rich people. It's a wacky premise for sure, but one that lends itself surprisingly well to a subversion of its own themes and elements. Much like in Sleepless Domain, it's a series that plays with the expectations of its own genre-related tropes, mecha-anime and western superhero comics in this specific case, in order to turn them upside down when it really counts. However, unlike stories like Sleepless Domain, or Madoka Magica for that matter, which have the tendency to completely eradicate their initial presentation and tone with some big-time horrific twist that changes everything you thought you knew about them, Kiwi Bleeds tends to be more nuanced and fleshed out in the way it subverts its own premise. For example, the first act gives the impression this is going to be a mostly comedic affair with a monster of the week formula, but it turns out to be an overarching narrative right off the bat. The first villain that gets dealt with eventually shows up later on as a part of the main antagonist's group. The tone slowly shifts from light-hearted fluff to serious business to big-time drama when a certain character appears and starts stabbing people. Finally, Steffi's ludicrously dangerous reason to be a superhero as presented in the first chapter, basically a combination of boredom, recklessness and a rich daddy, makes her look like a spoiled, self-centered brat, something that she gets eventually called out for. But it's later recontextualized by a series of revelations both big and small, concerning her background, her fathers, and her families. Before too long, it becomes obvious that the strongest point of this comic are its characters, their interactions and relationships as they get explored and expanded upon throughout the still currently ongoing series, and the attention to details poured in their overall development. Add into the mix a purposely vague element of world building regarding a certain war that happened at some point, a surprising underutilization of the titular mechanical bird in favor of even more subtly played subverted expectations, and a fun cast of side characters that are actually useful and relevant to the story, and you've got yourself a very recommendable read. So go read it! I am Madog Die Master, and this has been The Paper Pig.